Hello everyone, this is Chandan Shah and in this video I am going to discuss two very important results in limit. So for that let us consider one unit circle that is a circle of radius one unit. Now if we focus in this quadrant then the diagram would look like this. Now let us draw this radius of this quadrant and let us join this two point and naming it as AO and OD such that OD is equals to OA that is equals to one unit because this is the quadrant of unit circle and this angle AOD equals to x radians. Now in this triangle AOD if we draw one altitude AB that is AB perpendicular to OD then in triangle AOB we can write sine of x is equals to AB by AO where AO is equals to one unit thus AB is equals to sine x. Hence here in this diagram we get OD is equals to OA that is equals to one unit because of this unit circle and from the previous statement we get AB is equals to sine x. Now if we talk about area of AOD then that is half into base into height. Base is OD, height is AB. OD is equals to one thus we can write area of AOD is equals to sine x by two because OD is one. Now if we consider this sector AOD formed by this angle X. We know that area of sector is theta by 360 into pi r square where 360 can also be written as 2 pi. So we get theta by 2 pi into pi r square. Now this will be theta r square by 2. Now here theta is X and r is 1. So area of this sector AOD will be X into 1 square by 2 ultimately x by 2. So here in this sector AOD if we extend this AO to C such that CD is perpendicular to OD. We are extending OA to C such that CD is perpendicular to OD. Now it forms one right angle triangle. Thus we can apply trigonometrical ratio that is tan x here. So tan x will be equals to CD by OD opposite by base and OD is one unit because it is the radius of this unit circle and this is the part of the unit circle. So CD is equals to tan x from this relation. So area of this triangle COD will be half into base into height where OD that is the base 1 and CD is tan x. Thus we can write area of COD is equals to tan x by 2. So thus we get area of this triangle AOD, area of this sector AOD and area of this bigger triangle COD. If we compare the areas of these three figures then we get area of triangle AOD will be less than equals to area of sector AOD will be less than equals to area of bigger triangle COD. Since angle X is very small, therefore we can write less than equals. So in this diagram we get area of AOD is less than equals to area of sector AOD that is less than equals to area of this bigger triangle COD. Now let us substitute the values, substitute the values that we have got for their areas. So area of AOD is sin x by 2. Area of sector AOD is x by 2 and area of triangle COD is equals to tan x by 2. So thus we get this relation sin x by 2 less than equals to x by 2 less than equals to tan x by 2. This can also be written as sin x less than equals to x less than equals to tan x. Now if we divide all these three terms in this inequality by sin x then we shall get 1 sin x by sin x that is 1 less than equals to x by sin x less than equals to tan x by sin x that will be 1 by cos x. Now if we take the reciprocal of this term then we shall get the opposite inequality that means 1 will be greater than equals to sin x by x greater than equals to cos x. Here we are considering the reciprocal therefore this less than equals to will become greater than equals to and this can also be rewritten as cos x less than equals to sin x by x less than equals to 1. I have just reversed the order. 
Now as x tends to 0, so we know cos 0 is 1. So as x tends to 0, this value will become 1 and there will be no effect in 1 because it is constant. So thus this inequality becomes 1 less than equals to sin x by x less than equals to 1 as x tends to 0. Therefore, we can say limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is equals to 1. This is very important result and we are going to use it very often while evaluating limit of various functions. So always remember limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is equals to 1. Using this result, let us evaluate limit x tends to 0 cos x minus 1 by x. So here limit x tends to 0 cos x minus 1 by x we had. Now if we multiply cos x plus 1 with both numerator and denominator, then we could see it is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. Thus we can write cos square x minus 1 by x into cos x plus 1. Now we know this identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Thus cos square x minus 1 will become minus sin square x. So this can be written as limit x tends to 0 minus sin square x by x into cos x plus 1. Now we can rewrite this part as limit x tends to 0 sin x by x multiplies limit x tends to 0 minus sin x by cos x plus 1. Now just now we have seen limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is 1 and here as we go x tends to 0 then sin of 0 will be 0 and here cos x tends to 0 will be 1 so in denominator 1 plus 1. So ultimately we get this result that 1 multiplies 0 by 2. So hence limit x tends to 0 cos x minus 1 by x is equals to 0. So these two are very important result in limit that we are going to use. Limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is equals to 1 and limit x tends to 0 cos x minus 1 by x is equals to 0. So that's all in this video. Thanks a lot for watching.